For top and bottom hand, for guys that struggle, we're really going to put some, a big emphasis on our bat path in the offseason. Okay? We talked about this being the eye of the bat for most guys that don't know that. Does that make sense? The eye of the bat is what's going to guide us and help us get to the baseball. Okay? So when we go top and bottom, we're going to start with our bottom hand, eye of the bat to the catcher's feet, make sure we're landing in a nice spot and staying through our swing. When we go top hand, for my guys that like to use their chest first, we're going to put a baseball in our bottom hand, hold it out over the tee. We're gonna get in our stance. If my front arm does this, what does that mean? My chest is moving first, correct? You gotta make sure we're driving our lower half first. So, the ball should remain over the tee the entire time. Got it? So that'll be there. We're going flat bat tosses over here. Uh, you guys are going top, bottom, and heavy bat on these two tees, so you guys can just keep cycling through. Over here, we are going to go some PVC pipe swings and a heavy bat. So the way that that's going to look is, middle school guys, you guys are using the blue bat. High school guys, you guys are going to use the black one. Excuse me, Chris. We're going on our knees, working on our bat speed, working on swinging as fast as possible. So this is going to be a burnout set. Got it? So it's going to be 20 as fast as possible. Then we're going to go 10 with the heavy bat. Same thing. Feel your body explode. And then you're going to repeat the same thing. Got it? So two sets, 20 and 10. Got it? You have about four to five minutes, and then we're going to rotate. Go ahead. Okay, so for this, what we're going to do is, you guys are going to use this flat bat. Got it? We're going to make sure that the thin part of the bat is facing our ear. Our goal with this is to make sure that our hands are not pushing through the zone. Does that make sense? I want to keep my chest down. Give me a nice turn of the hands. Your barrel should get the contact from here. I want to make sure that my barrel's not doing this. What's that mean? I don't want my barrel working towards my front hip. Okay, I want my barrel to work away from my front hip to extension. Got it? So make sure that that top hand is working away from the front hip. Back up a little bit. Good. Balance and fire. Stay back, all right? Stay back and trust it. So good set. Land that launch. Remember we spoke about with the med ball drills, if I don't land in a strong position, I'm gonna struggle getting to that spot. So let's get a little bit more here. When I fire, I don't want this front hip to be what triggers my swing. Does that make sense? So if this does this, watch what my hands do. And they start to drag through the zone. Does that make sense? If I can work my back hip first, go ahead, turn that back hip first. This stays here. Now everything works to extension like we're talking about. Got it? Make sure we're staying back and staying through our swing. Good, stay back and drive. Turn that barrel a little bit. Good, stay balanced and drive. Where's your front side going? No, that way, right? Remember we said the core. If my core pulls me out, where's everything else going? Does that make sense? I have to use my back hip so I can maintain my direction with the pitcher. Good. Head down and explode. Don't go too early, right? Keep the hands back and explode. Stay back and drive. Fix the barrel. More. So where's your body going? But it's going here first. Does that make sense? So watch what happens. If my body starts to drift towards the pitcher when I hit, by the time I want to bring my hands in the zone, where are my hands going to fire from? Does that make sense? My hands need to stay back here so they can turn back here. Once my hands start to come forward with my body, my barrel's gonna work in and out of the zone. Does that make sense? So my hands can't come forward with my upper body. They have to stay back. Two more. Stay back and turn. Better, last one. Keep the hands back. Better, one more. Keep your hands back, don't let them come forward with you. Good, switch. Turn that barrel. Good, but where's your body going? Right, make sure we're firing from our back hip, not our stomach. Bend your knees. Good. Good. Bend the knees. Land that launch and fire. Good. Same thing. Good. Turn that barrel. 
Good. Balance and go. Head down and explode. Turn that barrel. Good. Balance and drive. Good. Three. Good. One more. Are you guys done over there? Last one. Keep the head down. Drive your top hand. Good. Grab these. Guys, let's get ready to rotate. So do you guys understand what I'm talking about? Of our upper half and our core can't lead our swing. Okay, once my core starts to race my body, right, my body starts to go down the third base line. I want to maintain my direction with the pitcher as long as possible. Does that make sense? Okay, so once our direction goes towards the third baseman, our entire body is going to go that way. 